In this video, I'm going to show you how to return something from a function in VBA. The reason we use functions is because subs cannot return a value. In many languages like C++, we return a value using the return keyword. But in VBA, we return a value using the function name. There are two more things we must do to return a basic data type. The first part is to set the function return value. If we don't set the function return value, it will automatically default to a variant, which isn't a good practice. The final part of returning a basic value is to receive it somewhere, and we can do it like this, by assigning it to a variable. When we run the code, you can see that it writes the return value to the immediate window. We can also get the value back directly, so in this case we're going to use it in a debug print statement. When we run the code, you can see that it wrote the return value directly to the immediate window. Returning an object is very similar to returning a basic data type. We set the return value of the function is the same, but when we're returning the value, we use the set keyword. To retrieve the value from the sub, we also need to use the set keyword. When we run this code, you'll see the contents of the collection written to the immediate window. Now you may be wondering why we use set for objects and we don't use it for basic types. In earlier versions of basic, we actually used the let keyword when we wanted to assign basic types like string or integer. We can still use let in VBA although nobody does anymore. The difference between let and set is that let is copying a value where a set is copying an address. The reason VBA copies addresses is because it's much more efficient. For example, if we had a collection of 10,000 items, then creating a copy each time we pass it to a sub, return it from a function, or simply assign it would be incredibly inefficient. Instead, VBA creates one copy of the object and then passes the address everywhere. Now the best part is that you don't need to worry about this as VBA takes care of it for you, but it's important to understand that every change you make changes the original object. In VBA, arrays are not objects, they're simply a group of basic variable types. So therefore we don't use the set keyword when we're returning an array. To retrieve the array from the function, we simply declare a dynamic array variable. This means that we don't specify the size of the array. Returning arrays like this creates a copy of the array, and if your array is large, this will really slow your application down. A more efficient way is to pass the array as a parameter, as in this case, only the address of the array is copied and not the entire array itself. We could do this for objects as well, but returning an object makes it obvious that we're either changing an existing object or creating a new one, which is a recommended programming practice. This has been how to return from a function in VBA. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. See you on the next video.